Hurry up, the apple bottom jeans, the boots with the fur, the fur, the whole club was looking at. Oh, uh, oh, oh, this, this is awkward. Uh, I thought you were, I thought you were out getting milk. Uh, hey. Hey guys, I'm Metis Mike. I'm Kind Theater back once again taking a look at how to make these cool, like, little Twitch panel things. I've seen a couple people asking and talking about this before in the past, and I really like making them because they're really fun. So I want to talk about some sizes you can do and the, the guidelines and the requirements for them. So let's get started. I'm, I'm in GIMP today. I love GIMP. You know, you should know GIMP at this point if you're a regular to the channel. It's a free program, as always. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to open up a new... Uh, image which is going to go up to file new and then just uh, change this now we can the, the the resolutions are pretty lenient actually you can do basically anything you want but the width has to be 320 and then you can literally do anything for the height from all the way down to one pixel all the way up to 600 so 600 is going to be really tall um and then um and then uh one is going to be obviously really really uh small and short you won't, be, won't even be able to see it really but um I think a, a, a good size is somewhere around 100 to like 150 so we're gonna go ahead and do 100 and you can see the size of that so it's like this size and these once again are if you don't know or if you're unfamiliar with the with what I just said this is like the little panels that you see underneath um, a stream on Twitch uh, which is really really cool so we can go ahead and make up a different size you can do 50 which is much thinner as you can see we can do another one which is also much bigger which is maybe 500 and then we can go ahead and do maybe one more um that is like uh, in between those so we do like 350 um actually that's that's still too tall let's do another one which is like no 200 there we go okay so we have three different four different sizes here so we have this like regular one quote unquote we have a, a thin one a tall one and then a medium ish one um i'm gonna actually go ahead and start on the regular one first the regular one is going to be um there's a lot of different designs we can do obviously the cool thing about this is that you can have uh you can just have it all be one color so we use a fill fill tool just color that in boom and now we got this little white box we can put text in it by uh, going to the text tool here and then just dragging the box open and then just typing something so we can type about you know maybe you want to make a little panel that says about you i don't know um, about what what games you play maybe you're just chatting streamer maybe you maybe you cook things you know maybe you knit things who knows what you do you know maybe you make music on twitch who knows who knows what you do so we're gonna make an about thing here and i want to go ahead and we'll do each one in a different style so all of these will be different styles which would be really cool um so this first one i kind of want to make like a regular looking um maybe gaming one because it, uh that's kind of like a, a a bulk of of twitch so let's go ahead and take this about uh and then maybe do something cool with it so um we'll choose the colors maybe white black and gold maybe or some kind of yellow uh like that there you go hit a new layer down here at the bottom right hit okay on that then we go ahead and maybe make some kind of pattern um, here I'll use the brush tool on the hardest brush that I have and we'll drop the size down to Much lower than that. Uh, it's maybe six. Yeah, it's like six and then we'll go ahead and use smooth stroke into the quality and wait all the way up on that uh, And then we can go ahead and just like make these cool little lines like this, right? Or maybe a little bit closer on that one and then further away and then back together Eh? Eh? I don't think I like that. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do something different. So we'll make this little, little design that goes like this, that comes around the top of the A, goes out, and then comes back. And then I want it to kind of um, loop between some of the letters, actually. Ooh, wait, yeah, let's do that. That's so cool. Okay, so we'll, we'll do like this, and it'll loop through some of the some of the letters. So like this, and then we'll go up and down and up and down and there and there. All the way across. Uh, maybe I want to make the other part of the A go down actually instead. Hold on, pause. So we'll do like this through there and up through the A. There we go. That's what I want to see. Okay, now, so we can get this, we get to decide which pieces we want to be in front and behind the letters. So we'll right click the layer of the little band that we made, right click it, duplicate, and then put it beneath the, uh, the about word, put it beneath it. So now we have two of them. So now one's behind and one's above. So now what we need to do is go to the one on the on above, go to the ab above layer, and then grab the box tool here, and we'll just create a box over top of this piece right here and hit delete. 
So now you can see it looks like the uh, the wrap kind of goes behind the tee, which is looks really cool. Um, we will fix this little piece right there as well. There you go. Uh, maybe this piece too. There you go. Nice. Very cool stuff. Now, with this, I want to go ahead and do every other one as well. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this piece. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get rid of this piece. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of this piece. <laughs> and then uh, I think that uh, then this one is done. There you go. So now it goes through all of the letters, which just looks really, 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 really cool. Gives it a nice looking 3D kind of design. Um, and the last thing I want to do is because it has like a little 3D design, I want to go ahead and grab um, all of this. So we'll grab the uh, the okay. Well, first of all, we'll grab this layer, the one with the cuts in it. Um, right click new layer group and then drag it into the layer group like that. All right, now that's done. I want to do like a very subtle gradient on the yellow line here. So it looks a little bit more, a little less flat rather. Even I like flat graphic stuff, but it's a little too flat right now. So let's add a little something to it, a little pizzazz. Nice. So with this, I want to go ahead and right click the bottom yellow layer. So the ones back here, the one that has a full line, not the half line, the full line in the back. Um, and we'll right click this, hit new layer group, drag it in. And then uh, we'll add a new layer. Yeah, we'll add a new layer. Hit OK. And then we'll use a uh, that same orange, yeah, same yellow color. And then we'll just drag it down a little bit to the orange and maybe desaturate a little bit, add a little bit more orange to it. Hit OK. Now with our brush tool on a, the softest brush we have, we'll up the size a little bit, about right there. And then just, we'll just click in some uh, various, some various places like this, you know, some various places we'll just click in, which looks really good. There you go. Nice. Now with that done, I'm going to right click the uh, little orange dots layer and then duplicate that, move it up above everything, above the other yellow uh, lines as well. And then go ahead and turn on, we can turn on either hard line or something else, but it's not going to look as good uh, unless we put it on uh, something that is going to make it look better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on grain merge, and then we're going to actually go ahead and do the same thing with the other, um, with the other orange as well. So let's go ahead and do the same thing, grain merge. Uh, put that, there you go, there. Nice. So you can see that little bit of orange there coming through, which looks really good. Um, as you can tell, you can see it's a little darker there, a little bit more orangey, a little bit more orangey. Looks like a nice little sunset's going on now, which is a very romantic. Um, yep. Next thing I want to do is I want to talk about um, maybe rounding these corners on, on right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab the box tool and then just drag a box on the uh, left hand edges of these, uh, of this, this, these corners down here. So the top one and the bottom one. We'll drag our box open a little bit more like that hit rounded corners and now you can see we can change the radius so that the, so that parts of it is round the edges of the corners are round which is so 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 cool so let's go ahead and enter and then we'll hit uh select invert grab our uh, eraser tool on the hardest brush that we have and then we'll just erase oh, we'll erase the white background um layer which is very very cool stuff so look at that now we have half of it Nice. So with that done, I want to go ahead and take a look at making, uh, at working on the second uh, idea here. So this one could also be something else, but I want this to be a little bit more freeform, less of a button looking idea. So let's go ahead and grab a font and we'll just type in the uh, the text tool here. Go ahead and type in something like, um, well, maybe we'll do about me for all of them. We'll just do about for all of them. That, that really works. So you can get an idea of what a different about would look like, depending on what style you're going for. So. Um, let's go ahead and pick a different font here because this one, this font does not work. Use this one like this. It says about me. We're gonna make this a white color like that. Um, and this is gonna be more a little more, little more free form, a little more. Um, I don't know what the word is, but a little bit more of that. We're gonna add a new layer above this all. Change our brush size. Maybe brush size maybe down to two. And I want to go ahead and use a white color and make little. Um, what are they called? Little, little thistly things, perhaps. Maybe we'll just like this step in first. We'll just create the little, the little uh, stem first. There you go. Same thing this side. Um, there we go. Nice. So now that's done. <laughs> it took me a couple of tries actually, but once we now, now it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the little, uh, little foliage pieces like this. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And then on the other side, we'll do the exact same opposite thing. We'll do the bottom instead of the top. 
which just looks really, really cool so far. I can't wait to take, take a step back and look at it from afar. Okay, you guys remember Jafar from Aladdin? He was spooky. Anyway, let's go ahead and, oh, that looks cool. Yes, I love this. This is very nice. We'll move it over a little bit. Um, this is very, very, very cool. Um, yeah, cool. All right, sweet. Now, that's one done. That one, this one's done, but I mean, we could literally do something else to it. Uh, we could literally end it right here, but I want to do something else to it. So let's grab a little green color here. Um, like a mint, like a minty green a little bit. There you go. Now with this smaller brush size, can we potentially get away with doing something like this? Huh. I think I like that. That looks pretty cool. Actually, I want to maybe put one in the O. Yes, this looks so cool. This looks very runic now, which is very, very neat. So let's go ahead and actually um, put all this into a layer group. So right click one of the layers, put, uh, press new layer group, and then just drag everything in to it. Not the background, um, but layer and about me. All right, cool. Now that's done. I want to go ahead and oh, there you go. I want to go ahead and duplicate this layer group by hitting right click duplicate. We can downsize one of them and then the one on the bottom. And we'll just go ahead and right click and merge these actually because it's just going to be a shadow. So go to colors, uh, colorize, and then put the zero. So no, actually negative one, sorry. I apologize. Um, and we'll go ahead and just move this down by hitting, using the little uh, move tool, just moving it down by a few pixels like that. Put a layer, layer image size. For, uh, filters blur and then we'll go to Gaussian blur and I can see it just blurs it a little bit which just looks really uh, much better that's only on 1.5 by the way they didn't do anything at all so hit okay on that and then we'll drop the uh, opacity down so it's not as harsh so this is a very very cool uh, uh, little panel as well Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new today. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.